Hi everyone, we are back, and it's been a while. As you see, my face has changed in the last prediction videos we did. As you have got all this, all this. So, <laughs> today we are doing Survivor Series War Games prediction. Oh, if you're William Regal, it's War Game. He fucking shouts it, doesn't he? I can't do that. So, War Games. The matches we know, we have them all written down in my little bit of paper. We know of one, two, three, four, five matches. Five matches. Mm. No, no, not happy, but hey, it happens. Uh, uh, we know. Ho hope that hope there's like another match in there somewhere that you add in. I'll we'll talk about that later. So match number one that we all know we have AJ Styles takes on Finn Balor. Right, this. Mm. <laughs> it's a match that I've seen, because so AJ has the return of the OC and Miriam or Milena, whatever she's been called, because she was called Miriam. Then, well, sorry, rephrase that. NXT Miriam came back. She was called Reckoning. Remember that? Came <laughs> left. Came back as Miriam. I think it was two weeks ago. Her name changed to May Lane or May Lang. It's not Mulan, and then they change back to me, so I don't know what her name is. And it's just and if it's AJ Singh on Finn Bal, who's got the Judgment Day of Priest, Dominic, and Ripley. That Ripley problem. Yeah, the Ripley problem. Um uh, my money's on Finn Balor, but there will be some shenanigans. The OC will get involved. Jade, the, the, the Dutchman Day will get involved, you know, we're going to see lots of mayhem. But the reason I, the main reason I say Thin is the WWE seems to be building up the Thin Bala, Dominic, they maybe phrase that, they seem to be building on the Judgment Day. So I think they're going to build the Judgment Day till maybe WrestleMania, and I think Edge will return at WrestleMania. And, and, and at Rest before WrestleMania, sorry, then at WrestleMania you'll see Edge, Phoenix, taking on Rhea Ripley, and maybe Dominic Mysterio. And a mixed tag team match? Maybe, because remember, Dominic betrayed Rhea, and he betrayed Edge and Ripley, Beth Phoenix with a steel chair. So it makes sense, and if you watched... Uh, I saw a WWE short where Dominic and Ripley went back to Ray's home and attacked Ray on Thanksgiving. So Ray still has that injured leg. So if so if Ray can't make WrestleMania, Edge faces Edge and Edge and Beth take on Dominic and Ripley. <laughs> so my mind's on Finn. Next we have the women's SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown top roll. The women's to SmackDown tag. You have Ronda Lousy takes on is it Sh Sh Shotzi? Oh, Shanda. Sh I'm gonna call it Shotzi. Um, mm, this is gonna be an in weird. It's a weird match because this it would end like that when you think about it. You know, Ooh, Ronda Rousey and Shotzi. But since Ronda's made her return, what's happened? What's she done? Yeah, she took out Liv Morgan, but Liv being champion didn't seem promising. And she got rid of Liv like that. And what's she done now? Yeah, she took out Natalia, but she had Baszler's help. That's the key word, Baszler. She and her Baszler's help. So what I would like to see, have Ronda win without she and her there. Make sure she and her's not there. Have Ronda win on her own, making her look strong, but also have Sachi get really close to winning. Maybe one, two kicks out, and then have Ronda win by submission. So my money's on Ronda and Rousey to make them both look strong because Sachi needs it to, um, to uh, the crowd, and Ronda really needs it. So Ronda Rousey. The next match we know of will be a war. It's a war games match. I hope they do this in this, in this order, by the way. The war games match you have. Team uh, um, Team Bel Air, which is Bianca, Oscar, Bianca, Oscar, 
Alexa, <laughs> Mia Yim, and from SmackDown, I think, I'm not 100%, I think it's Becky. <sighs> right. Hmm, interesting choice there. But Becky Lynch, I'm sure she returned on Smack. I think she returned on SmackDown, they're taking on Damage Control, and then and with Rhea Ripley and Nikki Cross. And what I find interesting about this, or Bailey has had, has had her feud with Bel Air. And the other members of Damage Control have had their feud with Bliss and Oscar. So that all makes sense. And they had Rhea Ripley came. Not, not Ripley who came in next? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Ripley, sorry. It was, was it. Was it Mia Yim? I actually can't remember. No, no, sorry, Nikki came in, because she, she was doing nothing, she was back to her crazy persona, which is fantastic. Then, Mia Yim came, but Mia Yim was helping the OC with the Ripley problem, and then Ripley got involved. Creating, creating damage control team, and then Becky came into play. Now, this match, I think, has two ways it could happen. You have the obvious way, which is Team Belair, which is... Mm, I don't want to say that, I really don't. Team Belair win, but my money, I would like to see maybe Damage Control win. Only because you've got the Tag Team Champions, which haven't really done much other against Oscar and all that. Belair would have the push. Ripley's, Rip, if Rip, and then Ripley's on the winning team. Remember, Ripley won last, when, when she won last time in War Games, which was really well, and that's Survivor Series, she should do well, so keep building that up. Make Ripley look strong. And Nikki was has another match. Yes, it's just she's, she was the last twenty four seventy which is gone. Which I'm mm, that's another story. I might see why that that touch didn't happen, but yeah. And then, but my main reason is because people keeps it, it's Bray Wyatt. Maybe I think Bray might be toying with a less. A, 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 Bless, I'm just gonna call that Bliss. Might be toying with Alexa Bliss in a way. Because, you know, if you watch Alexa's entrances, you see Bray Wyatt's Firefly Butterfly logo upside down on the background of matches. So, mate, so maybe have maybe you have that keep attacking me. Maybe in the match, have Alexa come then, but maybe she just sits in the corner doing all like, like all confused and maybe she escapes. Maybe she wants to run away from Bray. This is where that could end. We could, and then have Alexa actually go over the cage and run for it. Because War Games have ended like that, has it? Mm hmm. Interesting. Maybe. So, this is going to be my wild one. I would put a wild one out there. You know, now like these last three are going to be wild ones. This is a match. I want all these. I want. I, I, this can go either way, but my money, I'm put, I, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to get wrong. It's damage control. I, I mean, I hope Bray gets. Bray, it is, you, you don't see Bray. You don't see him. You don't see Bray, maybe. This is a little hints of Bray coming for Alexa again. The feed's coming to get you. Then after, <laughs> then after that, you have the the United States title match, which will be Seth Rollins defends his title against Austin Theory and Bobby Lashley. And this is for me again quite interesting because the the the, the, the U.S. T championship has, is 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 slowly becoming the main title now because. Roman, he never shows up. It's going to be the winter at the moment. Then you've got Bobby Lash, who said he, 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 he's, 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 he's on a warpath. He was going to kill. And Theory has changed ever since losing the back briefcase. Whereas, again, why did they do that? So, what I think is going to happen in this match, my money is actually on. It's, it's between Bobby and Seth. I think Bobby might get, but say midway match, Bobby goes. He's going insane. He's going crazy. He, he, he's he's almost destroying people. Like people maybe have someone busted up, not being just in pain. To one of them, maybe Theory. And after he's destroyed, Theory goes after Seth. Then maybe the hurt luck on Seth. Maybe. That's an interesting idea. But I'm gonna say Bobby Lashley. Because then. Maybe maybe then you could push Seth to go after Roman. Then maybe Theory can still go after Bobby. Saying, "Well, you now got rid of me. I'm still coming after you." 
I mean, like, Phoebe's been, Phoebe and Amy destroyed Dolph and all that, so... Keep that, keep them two interacting with each other for a bit. Then the next match I know of is the other War Games match, which is the main event. It sounds like a main event as well, doesn't it? It'll be the Bloodline, all of them. It's also, it'll be, that's Roman, Jay, Jamie, Solo, and Sami Zayn takes on the Brawling, the, the, the Brawling Boots, the Club the Brawling Boots, Kevin and Drew. So you got Shane Rich, Rich, <laughs> Butch, Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre. Five on five war games. Yeah, I get this sounds really interesting because if you watch SmackDown, the whole Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn thing, maybe. So people think Sami might betray them, but I hope he doesn't do that. I hope this match could be the way for Sami to prove he belongs in the bloodline. So maybe halfway through the match, Roman's in deep trouble. And you know, maybe the Claymore's coming as an example. So say so A1's down. A1's down one ring. You've got Roman slowly getting on his feet. Drew's doing his little 3 2 1 thing. Runs, jumps, but Sammy jumps jumps and pushes Roman and then takes the hit instead. Like he did for one of the Usos. He saves Roman. Donk. He gets kicked out. Drew, Drew jumps on his feet into a spear. One, two, three. Hmm? And that's like Sean, Sammy. Sammy's Sean Roman. He'll see because Sammy hasn't really saved Roman, has he? He saved a new saw. He's helped Solo. Maybe this is where he could save Roman Reigns. Because I would like to see if they ever break Sammy away from the bloodline, is have Sammy betray Roman Reigns in a title match. And that's how Roman loses, but because the Saiyan betrayed him. In some sort of way, or maybe betrays Uso, then becomes champion. That's what I would like to say. So my minute is actually on the bloodline. And hope that happens. Hope Sami sacrifices himself to Roman Reigns. <laughs> to, the, to the almighty god of Roman Reigns. <laughs> so there you have it. That is my Survivor Series War Games predictions. The one thing I am kind of upset about... There's no Survivor Series match. That's quite annoying. Because Survivor Series is built on a Survivor Series match. And this, I think this is going to be the only Survivor Series match that I know, anyway. With no Survivor Series match. It's got two War Games matches. That's it. And you can, you can, that's Survivor, no, it's not. Survivor Series match is elimination. There's no eliminations. But it's a new thing. It's a new... It's Triple H's year as people see it, so it's new. So I'll go through them again. We have Finn Balor, Ronda Rousey, Damage Control, Bobby Lashley, and The Bloodline. That's my predictions. I hope I get at least three of them right. If I get three, I'll be a happy smile on my face. Thank you for watching. Leave your predictions down that box. Down that box. Comment. Comment. Hit that blue button and that blue thumbs up. My, my, my thumb's not blue. Maybe if I make it blue one day. Ring the bell and to keep notified of anything I post, more predictions. I'm going to start doing this again. I mean, gameplay. I've got loads of gameplay stuff to do. That's a dead by day. I don't watch. And another thing, if you haven't located me yet, I am also on. Is it called TikTok? I am on there. Same name as my YouTube with more content and some funny clips of games I play with some sounds and all that lovely jumpy stuff. Keep notified, hit subscribe, join the dark universe. My universe. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.